Hey guys, welcome back to another diecast video. Um, now normally I try to add five pieces. Today I have four because there is something a little extra in here. It's not anything significant, but something. Um, so the cards that I have here are actually a free giveaway. Because uh, normally uh, I would have just gotten the 164 of this car. But Hooters had a giveaway on Instagram where they're giving four of these away, and I ended up winning, so, uh, that was honestly pretty surprising, but, uh, I got it, and here's the 124 of it, uh, 973 made, and if I didn't say it already, this is last year's Hooters Spirits car, as for the 164s, we have Corey LaJoy's, um, Scooby-Doo Keen Parts car, um, we have Harvick's 2020 Mobile One. And finally, we have Steve Park's 2011 um, Old Blue Tribute, one that was created specifically for a, um, a collectible store in Kannapolis, North Carolina. And that's actually where I got this from. They were, so it doesn't seem like they often sell on eBay, but um, the store, for some reason, had a ton of these on ebay said they already sold like 107 of them mine was 108 and they only had like seven left so i uh i finally got this and th this was the only thing on their um on their ebay as well but it also came with a hero card as you can see the car there it is a little bit different than the die cast there is some sponsorship added later but uh still pretty cool uh, picture car, Steve Park, uh, Tommy Baldwin Racing, Spring Cup Series, number 35. Uh, some bio stuff about Tommy Baldwin, about Steve Park, and about the, uh, the tribute there. Really good read, actually. And uh, the box, of course, is custom, as most promos are. Um, yeah, you see kind of the, the roll bar, because uh, this is based off of a modified car, so that's what all this is. You see the blue background kind of almost rusted almost it looks like even though it's not it's supposed to be orange but um yeah so pretty cool so anyway um now let's uh unbox all these okay so they are all unboxed uh let's start out with the steve park car like i said this was a promo made for a specific store in uh Kannapolis. uh and as far as the diecast goes obviously i already showed the hero card um, there was a little bit of sponsorship on the back, but with this, uh, this is just the details of the car itself. So whatever is supposed to be, you know, like the modified, like up here and the roll cages on the side. Um, obviously it's kind of hard to, um, transform a modified car into a stock car, but they did a pretty good job as best they could. Uh, you see the bottom bar here is gray, a little bit of black underneath that. Then the rest of the car is just simply blue. Um, really cool though. So even you got the roll cage even going down the front here. All of the numbers are orange. Actually no, the side ones are orange with a white outline. The roof is uh, orange with a black outline. And uh, there's no real sponsors. They, they actually don't even have the Spring Cup series on this car. Um, next. Let's do Kevin Harvick's 2020 Mobile One. Not a whole lot to say. Uh, same exact paint scheme as last year, except with the addition of the, of the new Cup Series logo. I have heard that upcoming cars will have the Cup Series banner as well. I don't know when those will actually start. Uh, but this is a black car. See the silver flames on each side starting toward the front. Then going toward the back, ending right around the Mobile One logo. And uh, the rest of the car is just black. So... Um, all of the numbers are blue with the white and red outlines. Sponsors, Mobile One, Mobile One, uh, Jimmy John's, Haas, Mobile One, Exalta, uh, Mobile One, Haas, Hunt Brothers, Pizza, Ford, Mobile One, Mobile One, and nothing on the roof. So next, a fan favorite, we have Corey LaJoy's uh, car they used in Martinsville last year, the Scooby-Doo 50th Anniversary Mystery Machine car. Looks really great. Obviously, um, supposed to be the mystery machine. <laughs> uh, that's what's obviously based after. The main color on this is that uh, kind of brightish green. The whole front of it is a teal, kind of. 
Uh, and then, of course, it looks very 60s, so you have the flowers and stuff everywhere. I have a flower there, flower there. Probably same spots on this side, yeah. Um, and then the blue itself kind of does like a wave thing there, and then it goes on the side skirt, and then it kind of flowers up again over here on the quarter panel, and then it's on the end of the back of the car here. And the entire roof from A post to C post is in blue, except for this design right around the number here. Um, I don't really know what to call that, but that cartoonish design on the roof. And all of it seems to be separated by this thin black line as well. I have Shaggy and Scooby-Doo all over the car. Scooby-Doo 50th anniversary. Um, characters over there again. And uh, on this side as well. So uh, all of the numbers are orange with the white and black outlines. Sponsors, you have Keen Parts. Obviously, Scooby-Doo 50th anniversary. CorvetteParts.net. Schuler Systems. Uh, Zach spark plugs and a, a lot of these i can't read so um again scooby-doo 50th anniversary southern pride uh ford shooter systems and once again <laughs> i can't recognize most of them actually shaggy and scooby-doo are on the back as well here see scooby-doo corvette parts.net scooby-doo 50th anniversary declid corvette parts.net with the uh car logo in the background uh, CorvetteParts.net on the roof. So that's all of our 164s. Now we get on to the uh, giveaway that I won. Uh, 124 2019 Hooters Spirits ran at Bristol. It is DIN 533. Come on, focus. There we go. Uh, so this is just an ARC. They did originally say, that I think, that it was an Elite, but then it came here as an ARC. I'm really not complaining. I get a free 124. Uh, and I don't... You know, I was going to buy this as a 164 anyway, but it's great to have it as a uh, 124. So, obviously, this is not a race version or anything. It's just clean. Um, Hendrix, so there's no monster even on the 124s. Have the NASCAR heat um, decals over there. Um, the car, the paint scheme, is, the main color is this white. And you have kind of this light blue fading into dark blue. And then an orange line above that. They all kind of follow each other from the front. Going upwards, past the tire, up toward the passenger side window, then going straight over the roof, and then back on the other side. So a little bit of that effect after the Hooters logo on the side of the dark blue going into the light blue. And uh, really, that's about it. All of the numbers are blue with a white and orange outline. Sponsors, you have Hooters Spirits. Hooter Spirits, Napa, Mountain Dew, Kelly Blue Book, Valvoline, two wind stickers at this time, uh, Exulta, uh, Hooters Mac Tool, Siemens Freightliner. Uh, you have Hooterspirits.com, please drink responsibly, and you also have Valvoline. Uh, Napa Auto Parts on the deck lid, and Hooter Spirits on the roof. Roof flaps do open, hood does open, although I don't know if this is one of them that I can easily get. I almost got it, I think. Yep, there it is. So there it is, just Chevy under the hood. And there's your engine detail. And uh, really, that is about it. Um, something I guess I forgot to mention is that obviously there is a decal of the real uh, Hooter Spirits bottle right there. Um, and then, of course, all the other ARC um, ARC details like cloth window net, um, tires, you know, stuff like that. Um, I do find it ironic how I am a 19 year old that won a, uh, a giveaway for an alcohol, but hey, <laughs> um, but anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Pretty quick one actually, under 10 minutes.